So now we're gonna we're going to align the X-ray beam and the uh, rotation system with the chin rest. In order to do that, we need our calibration tool. This is a black. This is called the black phantom tool, and we use this to align uh, the rotation system with the chin rest. So, um, just so you're aware, there's three holes on the top of the phantom, and the each hole has a metallic ball, one lower than the other, which we'll use later in the image to show us uh, the positioning of our chin rest and the arch this is meant to mimic the arch of a patient so it's obviously going to be facing outwards when we position that tool okay. it's important that the phantom tool goes all the way down and touches the bottom of the chin rest positioning okay the next step we'll have to walk over to the control panel and get back into the system configuration menu so uh, we left the machine. I just started the system up. It says machine setting, press zero. I'm going to hit zero. Um, I'm going to show you the way to enter the configuration menu when the system is already turned on. Um, I've already showed you before. If you restart the system, you wait until the words test flash. You can press and hold the up and down arrow uh, arrows. And uh, now I'll show you how to access the service menu when the system's already turned on. So we want to be in panoramic mode. When the system is in panoramic mode, um, we wanna hold three buttons at the same time. Um, and we're gonna press them for about half a second. It's just gonna be the up arrow, the laser, and the zero button. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you do that in the wrong sequence, it'll say press E851, press zero. So you just gotta press zero and then try it again. If you did it correctly, it'll show you the firmware, and then eventually it'll go into system configuration menu. Okay, to do this alignment procedure, we're gonna go to the right one time when we see service menu. We're gonna go to the right one time and it says service menu access alignment is where we wanna enter. So when we see access alignment, we're gonna hit zero and the password for the access alignment menu is 118. So we're gonna use the up arrow until we reach 118. Okay, once we're on 118, we hit zero and it's gonna ask us to press the zero button again so that the machine initiates. Okay, when the system finishes moving, the first uh, menu that we see here is rotation zero. We're gonna skip to the right until we reach Y axis zero menu. So when you see Y axis zero, we're gonna go ahead and press the zero button and we're gonna be, sh uh, it's gonna flash the actual offset number of the Y axis. Um, so what we want to do is once we're in the, once we actually see the offset number we want to hit zero one more time and that what that will do is it will put the system in a 12 o'clock position um, and everything will be center tube head uh, phantom and sensor so the purpose of this alignment is is a two-step phase pretty much we're gonna make sure that the x-ray beam is aligned correctly with our sensor. And we're also at the same time going to make sure that our chin rest, that the center of our chin rest is aligned correctly with the center of the sensor and the center of the x-ray beam. And we're gonna use the software to go ahead and, um, and, sh and, and, and acquire an image to locate the three balls in relation to the actual center, uh, the sensor. So, um, if we look at the control panel one more time, we'll see that this green light has been turned on. That means that right now we are ready to, to fire or to acquire an image. What we need to set up is the software at this point so that we have a, an image that we can look at and determine whether or not we need to move the sensor or the x-ray beam.